First of all, we have the LCD touchscreen, which is our main access to the functions of the AFC 330. Here we have a pilot lamp, which will let you know when it's on or off. It will also blink when it goes into sleep mode. On the actual device itself, we have the release and capture button. This is used to actually manually capture in manual mode. The joystick is used to move the device left, right, forwards and backwards, and then by rotating the joystick, moves the device up and down. We also have the chin rest adjustment buttons here to move the chin rest up and down. We have the internal observation illumination button. At the back here, the button is used in manual mode when we are moving from anterior eye to into the fundus. The wheel is used for manual adjustment of focus. Over here is the locking button, just to secure it when the device is not in use. On this side of the device is the main on-off switch. As you see the screen at the moment, is the main default start position for the AFC 330. To run through the icons, here we have the off switch, which is used to power it down once you're finished with the device. This icon here turns on and off the auto capture option. Here we have a button to manually switch between auto and manual mode. And the icons down here are showing us that we have automatic tracking, automatic changing from anterior eye to fundus, automatic focus. At the bottom, this is our standard one shot of the fundus. This icon is able to take a stereo image of the fundus. This icon allows us to take a panoramic shot of the fundus. And this icon allows us to take an anterior shot of the eye. On the other side, we have the small pupil function. We also have the ability to quickly and easily drop the flash level. And here we do have the flash level. So we can easily move it up or move it down depending on the lighting conditions and the actual patient. Here we have an indication of the focus power needed to actually take the photo. On the screen itself, this is an indication of the eyelids and then we have two circles to give an indication of the pupil sizes. Ideally the outer circle, which equates to four millimeter pupil size, should be your minimum pupil size. If we press the small pupil mode, we go down to a smaller pupil size of 3.3 millimeters to allow us to take photos with a smaller pupil. On the side of the device here is a paddle which is used to increase the focusing range of the AFC 330. Pulling it out once increases the negative focusing range. Pulling it out again increases the positive focusing range. Normally, the paddle would be pushed fully in.